Welcome back everyone to another beautiful tutorial on my channel. This time I'm going to show you how to make your very own wonderful YouTube thumbnails. So, the first way to get an image for your thumbnail is to take it directly from your video. So, to do that, if you haven't checked out my other video on DaVinci Resolve, I should as you do because it is an amazing editing software. So, once you added your clips and stuff, and have it in the timeline, then in the color tab, see I want the image right here, right click this, grab a still, here's our still, export it to the desktop, change it to a PNG file, export, takes a while to show up sometimes. Alright, so here is the image we have for our thumbnail. So this this is looking alright. Kind of dark. Here's another one I have. Not really for a thumbnail, but you can see that it's kind of all the important stuff is kind of pushed to the right and there's nothing over here. So this probably wouldn't be a good thumbnail because it's not really balanced with the objects in focus in the image so yeah that, w that probably wouldn't be good so you can either use resolve to take a still of the clip that you have or you can come down here and search for the snipping tool which allows you to take a screenshot of anywhere on the display then you come up here and save it as. Or of course you can get your camera out and take a separate photo that you will use as your thumbnail. So you can use uh, paint.net or GIMP. I like paint.net out of either of them. That's just my preference. But I like Photoshop a bit more than both of them. So I'm gonna use Photoshop. Alright, so I changed my mind a little bit. I'm going to use this photo of my setup instead of the other one with the blue snowball. So I'm going to turn down the brightness a little bit, maybe negative two. Bump up the contrast, maybe plus five. Maybe minus one. Looks alright. Now let me adjust the saturation a little bit. Maybe plus four. Maybe plus three. That looks pretty good. So now, actually, I think I'm gonna crop this a little bit. the photo ratio which is 16 by 9 and then maybe crop out this whole side part add some text up here maybe I want to change it to the biggest font I have bold and find a font that I like Maybe this one, we'll see. Actually, capital. Hmm. Not really liking that one that much. So I'm gonna try. Maybe this one. Setup tour, bold. That one's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna wanna make that simplified and then blow it up bigger. 
turn the opacity down a bit, maybe 85%. Adjust it. Adjust it a little bit so it's centered with the image. Maybe I'll rotate it a tiny bit to be in line with the monitors there. gonna cut half of this out. Oh, nope, I want to be on this layer. I'm gonna cut this half. Cut it, paste it onto a new layer, and then move it up here. Rotate it a little more this way to be in line with the monitor. Then accept it first. Then rotate this one to be in line with the monitor a little bit straighter. That looks good, and now this one, don't want it rotated that far. Still want to be able to see the space in between. Hmm. Tweak this a little bit. Maybe I'll move this one over. You just really want to play around with it until you find a look that you like. That's alright. Maybe I want to tilt this a little more. Can I not get an in between between these two? Okay, good, I can. It looks alright. Hmm. Let me move this up a little bit so it's not touching the monitor. Actually, I think I need to make this a little bit smaller. So yeah, for tech videos, it's a little bit easier because you can really use like a real life image and not do any editing to it as an interesting thumbnail. Gaming videos, it gets a little bit harder, I guess. So for game videos, you may want, maybe wanna take some of the character models from the game, make it into a cool thumbnail. You really want it simple for a tech video that gets the idea and message of the video across so you can interest people before they even watch the video so for tech videos it's a little bit easier so you can kind of get the idea of the video across before you even see the video with the title and obviously the thumbnail so you want something that's interesting you don't want to go too clickbait with it because no one likes that it's kind of annoying but you can go like, give enough information that it informs you. Like, so you see the thumbnail and you know what the video is about before you even click on the video. So that's basically what you need to know for a thumbnail. And that's it, I guess. So if you enjoyed, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more awesome videos on, honestly, whatever random shit I feel like posting. Whether it's mostly tutorials, I guess. I guess that's what I do, mostly tutorials, but I mean this isn't really a tutorial channel. I guess just all the random shit combined together that I feel like posting. So if you want to see whatever random shit I feel like posting, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.
Oh